All right then, hello. Uh, today we're gonna be doing your hack the, uh, not hack the box challenge. Damn, I'm so used to saying that, but we're gonna be doing a Ponable KR. And you guys don't know what Ponable KR is. Ponable KR is, uh, I guess, a hacking site that uh, I guess some Koreans made in which you're able to practice binary exploits. And these range from beginners, which right here we have toddler bottle, all the way to like advanced topics, all the way down to hacker secrets. And there's a whole leaderboard behind them, but. I'm not gonna go over that. So they were just gonna be going over to like the very first challenge, which is called FD. And let's get, yep. Yeah, right. I think this is enough talking for me, but let's get started. So FD, we get a little description. Mommy, what is a file descriptor in Linux? And then we're giving like, a, try to play the war game by yourself. If you are an absolute beginner, follow this tutorial link. So I don't think I'm a beginner for the most, in, most part. And I already solved this challenge. So anyway, let's get started. So with this challenge, or with this CTF, you mostly have to log into these uh, SSH servers. I guess they have set up. So I'll just, oh, I'll just copy right here. SSH FD at ponable.kr port. And then one, two, three, SSH. And then we're going to have to put in a password and I'll just put in guest. And then we're giving this uh, prompt and then we clear it and we LS. We're giving three, three, Three files, FD, which I'm guessing is the is the executable code of FD.t, and then the flag. So if we can't try catting flag. We see that we can't. Yeah, we have we don't have the permission. So I guess the point of it is just to get pwn it. So what I'll do is just cat FD.c, and then we'll see the code that it's given. So with FD.c, it looks like it's passing in. We're passing in arguments, so we're supposed to pass in an argument. If you guys didn't know. And then it's converting that argument to a toy. If you guys don't know what a toy is, we can just look it up. But what I know is that it turns a string to an integer. And that's basically what it does. Yeah, it converts a string to an integer. And it's subtracting it by OX1234. And then after that, read is passed in with FD. This is FD. Read is, so I'm guessing we have to manipulate FD. That's what I'm guessing. And this buff 32. And then it says if string compare doesn't equal let me in, then then it won't print this out. But if it if it does, it'll print good job and it'll print the flag. So our so if we work backwards, we want to print the flag, bin cat flag. We want and before that before that happens, it, it prints out good job. So that gives an idea. And before that happens, we have to pass this use case. But how do we get here? String compare. So we have to find a way to able to manipulate buff. And then with buff, if we go back right here, it reads it in. So read buff. But then right here, FD, we're able, so we're allowed to pass in a value in a toy arg v. And we could assign, a, I guess, an integer value of FD and read. But we don't know what, I guess, I know, but like, as if you guys don't know, like most of us won't know what read does so if we just look up read c programming and we'll just go for geeks for greeks so this is pretty much easier so input and output system calls in c create open close read and write so what is a file descriptor uh just uh, close this so file descriptors is a collection of integer array indices that are file description in which elements are pointers to a file's time okay file entry Standard file descriptor. So when any process starts, the file descriptor table, so file descriptor 0, 1, 2, open automatically. By default, each of these three FD references from DFTTY. So it reads from standard in. So whenever we write any character from the keyboard, it reads from standard in through FD0. So I'm guessing is that we have to pass this, we have to make FD0. And to make FD0, we have to find a string that gets turned to an integer and that equals this number as a, as a, I guess as a, as an integer. So I guess one of the first things I could do is just copy this OX123 and look it up integer. So convert, uh, convert, I think it's convert hex to, in, to, to decimal, I think. OX one, two, three, four, maybe this will work. Okay, yeah. So if we're subtracting integers right here, because this is an integer, and if we and this gets converted to an integer, the integer value is four six six zero. So now we know that OX one two three 
four is equal to one uh four six six zero so we know this part is four six six zero so we need to find so we need to i guess pass in the string of four six six zero and it's gonna turn four six six zero into uh integer the string four six 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 zero into an integer and after i subtract it and then fd will equal to zero and then after that we're able to pass in this read value because so if we go right here create see open read from read uh fd file descriptor which did us to be read returning error return return value so fd right here so right here fd call to return that call fd returns that so anyway, so that's what that's what we're gonna do right now. So what we could do is just uh, so we know that if we just run this FD, it says pass in the arg v. So arg v is a value that, like I said before, we have to uh, we have to pass in. Arg v is gonna get passed in right here, and it's gonna turn into an integer. And what we want to do, oh wait. What we want to do is pass in four six six zero, which if we go back right here, is is the equivalent of ox one two three. So once four six six zero is gonna be a string in argv, turns to an integer, and this is gonna subtract it to ox one two three four, which is equivalent to four six six zero, and we fd is gonna equal to zero. Now, once we get that, it's going to call in read zero buff 32. And after that, it's, we could pass in values inside the buff. So if we just do this, oh, wait, press enter. Oh, what the hell? Did my, oh, wait, right there, right there. See, look, it's asking us for a value. So if we just type in, let me win, we get good job. And then I'm guessing this is the flag. So if we just copy this and, and put it inside right here, auth. And it's gonna, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give you an error. You're, you already authenticated this flag. So yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Just mostly like reading the source code a bit, understanding what this does, what this hex value does. And then I guess understanding a bit of the read functions of what we're supposed to pass in. Yeah, so that was about it for this challenge. I hope you guys learned something new. I'll hop back into Hackbox later on in the future, but like so far, like all of them, all the ones that are left are pretty difficult to explain. And I wanna be able to explain it like thoroughly, like with good. So anyway, that was about it for this video, and peace.